Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. So today, me and Sarah are gonna be answering some of your guys' most asked questions. I don't know if they're most asked. I just said ask me some questions. You guys ask some questions. We're gonna provide some answers. Before we start, you must actually go to the item shop and use code Wesley What? I've just been informed by Epic, you will actually, I can't say that you'll lose your account. I've just been told by Epic that if you don't do that, then you are a certified L. And that was cringy. Anyway, forget anything. Do use my code, but forget the rest. Anyway. All right. All right. So the goal is that Sarah is going to be playing a game of Fortnite and the video will end whenever she gets a 10 kill dub. All right. I'm going to be here for the rest of my existence. <laughs> this probably will take a while, but at least we'll get through a lot of questions. Why does Sarah not learn to play Fortnite with a coach instead of just doing random things in the game? Well, an actual coach would cost money. I've offered to coach her a little bit, but she just doesn't pick up on things super well. Well, Wes isn't the best anymore. He's kind of gone downhill throughout the years. He's actually gotten worse. Okay, well, I think everyone else has just gotten better. When I still do Zone Wars on stream, though, I still win sometimes. When will you guys be playing more horror maps? Sarah's reactions are so funny. I actually tried to get her to play a horror map for this one, but she wouldn't do it. Biggest thing is I really want maps that are like actually scary and not just like basic jump scares. Like I really like the forest one. That was actually really good. That was like a whole experience. I want to find more maps like that. Does Sarah prefer door edits or mantling? Sarah, why don't you answer by doing which one you prefer more? Oh, she's placed in a wall. I guess it's going to be a door edit. Wait, they just did a window. That's not up. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ready for this? Well, say, oh, wait. No, go get him. Go get him. Sarah, you're never going to drop a 10 bomb. There's only 40 people left. You have to go kill this person. Beam him. Beam him. Beam him. Beam him. Oh, they know how to edit. Oh, you're screwed. You got to beam him. You got to beam him. Why the SMG? He's healing up right now. Use the other gun. There we go. Nice. Nice. You do need to build a little bit. This person is actually like the worst good person I think I've ever seen. Oh. That was so bad on their part, though. Guys, if you know how to build and it takes you that long to kill Sarah, you need to work on something other than building. Maybe we should just lower this to five kills because ten may be too much. Five, you can do five. Guys, look, if I add you, never invite me. Like, I'm just going to be straight up honest. Just never invite. There will never be a time that I'll be in the lobby and be like, oh my gosh, the red haired boy 62 sent me an invite. I got to join this. Like, there's just never going to be a time that that happens. Like, never. Like, ever, ever, ever. Not even like trying to be mean. Like, they're just never, if I'm on Fortnite, I'm usually doing something. So just don't. Just don't invite me. Wait, is someone on you? Yes. You don't even have anything. You gotta get a gun. Place a wall there and like, what are you doing? It might be a you gotta oh, get a bless. Okay, well, just oh, oh no. I see you. Get the pistol and just hide up there. Just get the pistol and hide up here. Oh my gosh, you got a shotgun. You're chilling. While we do this, what is Sarah's thought process when she does stupid things? By virtue of doing stupid things, there usually is no thought process. Yep. It's a sword. It's a sword. Oh nice, a sword. You're chilling. You're gonna get out of here. If we get you five million by the end of this year, will you and Sarah get back together and make a kid? You know what? I'll make a deal with you guys. Wait, what? If we get five million subs by the end of the year, I guess I'll just get back with Sarah and we'll have a kid. No. That's that. Get us five million and we'll do it. No. Next question. My question for you guys, Sarah, what is the likelihood of Wesley actually getting a girlfriend? Never. This isn't a question, but Wesley, you are who inspired me to play on keyboard and mouse. Sorry, I was just looking around to try to find out who asked. So mean. I'm sorry. That's cool, dude. I'm happy. You know what? The digital pup, you were actually there over the summer. You were in a lot of the summer streams. There were like 30 people, I'm pretty sure. Hey, I don't know if you were <gasps> in the stream, but... Wesley. What? F69 brick. <laughs> oh my god. I thought you were going to say something about the chicken. <laughs> oh, no. Wesley! What? There's a chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wes, first of all, you are so cool. And Sarah, if door edits, mantling, and crouching wasn't a thing, what would you even do? What would you do? Just cry. Cry and die. Cry and die. Has Sarah ever gotten a win by herself? Nope. I'm about to. No, yeah, you're gonna get a win this game. Maybe that's when we end it. We end it when you just get the dub. What is your most favorite parts of each other? Like part about being friends, our favorite part about that, our favorite part about like each other's body. I think ew. Yeah, if that's what you meant. Disgusting. What is our favorite part about each other? I mean, I actually think Sarah is funny. Is that a llama? That's a chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> Was that a <laughs> oh my god, wait, you're boxing up right now? Are you placing, don't place the ramp. You placed the ramp, you placed the wall behind you. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that accomplishes, but it's there. It's so that way if somebody is behind me, I can be like, you know, they don't, they can't get me. <laughs> While you two were together, what was the best thing that happened? <laughs> Choosing to post videos was probably the best thing. I can't see anything. Can you even see anything? Kind of. What are you sh like for me? It looks like you just wait. Did you actually hit that? 
Um, how is Sarah still your friend after all you've done to her? You know, money is a powerful thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yesterday, when you will take your fish to a walk, what will be your favorite color of the alphabetical numbers? I'm gonna go with probably, uh, probably black. I like black because I, I black shirts. I have a black background, but that's a really good question. In the current season, there are many places. If you had a chance to date Sarah, where would you bring her to and explain why? I feel like the easy answer is probably Mega City because there's obviously a lot of stuff there. But to be honest, I think a date at Breakwater Bay would probably be pretty fun. Oh, you know, it'd be nice to go up to the islands and like look over the whole thing you know that would be pretty cool so confirm sarah wants to go on a date on the island with me anyway next question oh wait somebody on you they're gonna edit right there they're gonna do another edit be ready nice they're gonna do another dumb edit just spray spray with smg spray with smg he's popping shield he's healing up though you gotta be careful you have no heals he's gonna try to shoot you in the back no someone's over there okay i'll just, just try to go away oh. he's gonna try to shoot you in the back be careful. you gotta catch yourself should we add this guy? Who do you think he is? No! If Shahara was to beat Booga in a 1v1, what would be the reason? If Shahara was to beat Booga in a 1v1, probably Booga's internet went out. Probably like his mom walked in with like some food or something and he got distracted. Probably like pigs could fly or something. Cause that would be the only time Sarah would be able to beat Booga in a 1v1. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at Fortnite Tracker the other day, and I think I only had like 40 matches played this entire season. I've made more videos than I have matches played, probably. Like if you count shorts and stuff, I have more. I have more videos posted about. You have the like game. double that. Are you gonna do more vlogs? Definitely. Definitely not. I don't know. If I'm being honest, I tried to record a vlog a couple days ago. Oh my god, you didn't. And it didn't work out so well. I was trying to do a day in the life, and then I realized my life is really, really boring. What's your guys' lifetime goal for the channel? I would obviously love to hit 10 million. I think that would be awesome, but it's not going to happen. But it would be really cool. We're doing pretty good. We're getting like 100k a month. But even at 100k a month, it's going to take like six or seven more years for us to hit 10 million. If we maintain that rate. Probably not going to happen, but it would be really cool. Uh, what's your favorite skin except your main skin? Probably the... Uh, I think it's called the Helsey skin or something like that. Yeah, I really like that skin. Too. That's like my whenever I don't want to wear Clash, that's my go-to sweaty skin. Will you and Sarah ever do a hide and seek? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> How long do you think your channel is gonna be for? Well, I mean, technically it'll exist as long as YouTube exists because I don't plan on deleting it. But I assume you mean how long do I think I will be at the top of my game? I don't know. Like I thought it was over a year and a half ago. I thought the dream was dead. Yeah. Like, I was like, well, that was a fun part of my life. I made YouTube videos from 2020 to 2021. So I didn't ever expect it to build back up again to the point it's at now. I live like in a state of knowing that it's not gonna be forever, but I do also feel like as long as I stay consistent and keep being funny and entertaining people, it really, is like in my own hands. I kind of control my destiny, which is something I really like about YouTube. As long as I want to be a big YouTuber, I can be a big YouTuber as long as I'm willing to do the work. And willing to pay me. And willing to pay Sarah, obviously. That's the number one thing. Okay, just shoot him once. Shoot him once. Nice! Let's go. <laughs> Not just emote on a bot. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Have a shotgun out. You got him. You got him. Just take your time. Hit your shots. No! Can you tell us something none of us know about Sarah? Should we just like maybe just do, just take, turn it off. Turn off the voice changer. Just do it. I know you're nervous because it's like you've been using it for years now and everybody thinks that's your voice. And some of the old people that watch the vlogs, they thought that was you in the videos and didn't realize it was just a friend of mine that lives down the street. I think it's time you actually turn it off and you let people hear what you actually sound like. Hey, this is really hard for me. I'm Tony. I'm 37. I was in college when Wes was in college. Sarah is Tony, who was a friend of mine from college. He has a wife and kids. It's not actually a girl. I'm sorry you guys had to find out this way. I know it sucks. I know you guys really thought Sarah was a real person. Everything around you is fake. Dylan wasn't real. Sarah isn't real. It's just Tony. And actually, I'm not even real. I'm the real Sarah. So that's the truth, guys. I've been doing the voice for all this time now. Tony just fills in and plays on the account. Hope you guys continue watching, though. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, anything you want to say, Sarah? Nope. See you guys. Use my code, the Out of Shop, so I can get rich. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I said that too fast, but definitely use my code so I can get rich. By using my code, you'd be doing me a huge favor. It's Wesley Watt. Use my code so I can get rich.